Greetings, folks. This is uh, the live food experience in the kitchen once again with a tasty treat, a summer spinach soup, which will most likely blow your mind. What we got down here? We got a little bit of, uh, well, we got spinach in the back, hemp seed, sun-dried tomato, uh, a little cumin. I got a little Mexican seasoning blend here, which has got a bunch of goodies in there. Uh, garlic, black pepper, onion, uh, red pepper. I'm sure there's some coriander and cumin in this. Black olives, the Greek variety, dried Greek, unsprayed, raw. Uh, olive oil, chickpea miso. Uh, we're gonna float some of these goodies on top of the soup. So, right now directly, I will start assembling this very simple Asama spinach a soup. So our base is going to be a hemp milk, very simple. If you have an almond milk already made or a sesame milk, you can do that. Uh, hemp milk, I just love to make it. You don't have to worry about straining it and doing any of that crazy seed milk bagging. With a soup, you can get away with maybe a little bit of that pulp in there and the fiber um, and just make it thicker. Hemp goes in here, like that. I got a trick up my sleeve. I got some marinara left over that I made with sun-dried tomatoes and had Italian herbs and it smells delicious. It smells like a, a pizzeria. So what I'm gonna do, it's because I wanna use up the rest of this, I'm gonna pour my water in here, shake a shake up, put that in the blender with the hemp seed, and then we'll have like this kind of a, creamy, uh, tomato-y, milky, yummy, marinari, alfredo-ish. It is gonna be good. What's going in here? Oh, let me put the lid on. There we go. Put that in here. I'm gonna throw these sun-dried in there. I'll break it up. We get a little chunky chunk, chunky chew. So I'll make this milk first. Then I'll add the spinach. Then I'll add some miso. Uh, I could add some cumin now. Bam! Hit it with a little cumin. I add a little, uh, like a teaspoon of this uh, mixture. You can use any miso. You don't have to use a miso. Um, I recommend the, the zuki bean or the chickpea miso because soy is no bueno. So we got a few ingredients in there. I'm going to hit it. Here's some chunkies in there. It's the sun-dried tomato. As it sits in the liquid, the sun-dried will soften. So if you serve the soup, and uh, in a little while, uh, give it some time, you, uh, the tomatoes will soften up. Won't be I'm just chucking all this spinach in here. A lot of spinach goes a little way. So. That's a soup. That's nice. It's got like a, a south of the border kind of thing going on. Yeah, that's really good. Because right now it's just like green goo, which uh, tastes awesome. So who cares, you know? Uh, and that's a lot. A lot of my my culinary creations could just be called green goo. I'm, I'm a big fan of green goo. Spatula city, spatula city. I don't have a spatula. Spatula God gave you. Oh yeah. So cool, we're gonna make it pretty now. Take some of these olives. A couple different ways to pit them. Blue shotting the olives against the cutting board. And then I can, that makes it easier for me to pop the pits out. 
pits out. We don't want we don't want no pits in our soup. I just did it. I put the cup. Pits go here, olives go there. So we got the tomatoes. Watch this. Triple my productivity. Bam, we float that in here like that, little tomatoes. There we go. Easy breezy. Spinach, summer soup, delish, nutrish, all high vibration, organic, raw foods. Love you guys. Keep it live. Until next time. See ya!